All right, Coach, when you came here, you had a vision. Um, tonight, huge crowd here in Ankeny. Um, did you think that it would be, it would come together this fast? Well, the, the fan base has come together fast, and, uh, you know, it was a good fundraiser. It was a great season kickoff uh, to hopefully get people excited about Iowa State wrestling this year. You know, I talked about buying season tickets, talked about coming out to the um, uh, C.Y. Stevens uh, match in 30 days from now on November 11th um, and talked about our vision a little bit but you know the wrestling part is the part you know truly how we're going to get evaluated so uh, that part is is moving forward um, like a true coach it's not moving forward fast enough for me but that's probably something I've said as a coach uh, every year because uh, you know I, always, I probably always want things to move a little faster but I know we're going in the right direction um, I'm curious to see how this team does in the next three weeks because I always say, uh, you know, mid-October, early November is hard. And ultimately you get rewarded or you don't get rewarded based on how you handle hard. So that's fun. Um, it was a great event. Uh, I never had any doubt at all uh, about the, the power of the Cyclone Nation and their passion for wrestling. Uh, it's, it's why I took the job uh, because I knew that uh, they would get behind this and they are behind this. Now it's our job to develop the wrestling side of things. And so the Cyclone Regional Training Center in this day and age of wrestling is important and we have to develop it. And so that's what tonight was. It was a, it was a kickoff uh, to get the fans involved, get the fans excited. It was to remind the fans and maybe educate the fans on just how important the regional training center concept is in our sport now. So, so obviously raising the money is important. Um, but overall vision, you know, two, three, five years ago, the Olympics are coming around. Um, do you guys plan on bringing in more athletes with the money? What, what's, the, what's the plan here, five-year vision? Well, my, my plan is that I think you have to have a great infrastructure, uh, you know, of support people. And uh, we're not, as coaches, we're not professional fundraisers. And if that's what the game's going to call for, professional fundraisers, we need to put the business side of it in, in tack first, um, and then we can afford the athletes, and we're kind of at that point now. Um, and I truly, if you were to ask me my business plan, I would like to staff, in terms of resident athletes, uh, the, our regional training center with Cyclones. Uh, so Kyvin Gadsden's a Cyclone, uh, Ben Durbin's a Cyclone. And so that, maybe I'm old school, and you know I wrestled for Gable and all the the good Iowa guys stayed around. And so maybe that's my model a little bit. Uh, uh, that's probably the model that I'm leaning to right now. Um, I think things have changed so fast and they continue to change that, you know, maybe those models don't stay around forever. But right now, uh, you know, we got to get the guys in this program wrestling at a high level. So in, you know, maybe two, three years, we can start hiring some Cyclones. Does that mean we won't hire anybody if the right guy comes around in the short term? Yeah, we, we would definitely look at, you know, we've, we've talked to some different guys over the last six months, um, you know, for our volunteer position, for regional training center positions, we've got the funds, but it's got to be the right guy for me, um, and uh, that's what—that's uh, probably what I'm waiting on right now.